Whatever you tool family, welcome to From Indicted to Invited. Before we get started in today's topic, it's called regrets. Go in and hit that like button right now, catch up upper left hand corner. I want to thank the whole indicted community for helping me reach 3K subs. But I'm not finished yet. I need everybody to like this channel, to take this video and just go on your biggest platform, Facebook, Master, wherever you at, direct messages to everybody, everybody. I'm trying to get 10,000 subs real quick. We're trying to get to 10K. I need y'all to do this for me. Every video I drop, just go on one of them platforms and just send it to everybody. Please do that for me. I just showed y'all a video. I cut the music out the video, right? And I cut the music out the video because I didn't want to be dealing with YouTube. Three dudes get out the car. They find one of the ops slipping. And you watch that video. It's one dude literally like two feet behind him. But you never see the dude drop. That's because all three of their guns jammed. So I went to the comment section. I pulled this off. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Preston Braswell for the, uh, he had the best comment. Right? All three of the people guns jammed on. When I was in prison, man, and one of my biggest regrets is not having kids of my own. Watching the guys in there that had kids, bro, was brutal. A man is so sensitive about them, about them kids, bro. A man is so sensitive about not being there for his kids. And most of the time, bro, the, the, the people who go to prison, it was to put food on the table for the kids, bro. The kids is the key to everything around here. All the the failures and all the, the winning and all the, you know, the upgrades to this and that, man, it's the kids, bro. The kids, bro. It's the cause of a lot of pain. You just see dudes and they're just walking around like zombies. It's, you know it's something about the kids. I'm going to show y'all, why give y'all one more video. I need y'all to check this out for me. Y'all check it out. This like the definition of all we need is one trip and we straight. If we make this trip, we ain't never got to do nothing illegal again. You know what I'm saying? But we got to make this trip. And as soon as my dude hit them sirens, nigga realize we not going to make this trip. So what's our best solution? You know what I'm saying? Hit the coins. Hit the coin. You know what I'm saying? They hit the coin. And it was good. I thought they got away when they hit the con, you know what I'm saying? But obviously you ain't gonna make it out without them saying where your car went, you know what I'm saying? But you still need to make this trip. You gotta make this trip. You gotta get the fuck too, because I gotta stay alive, y'all. So we dead anywhere it go, because I'm pretty sure whoever in the fuck they got all them bricks for right now from, yeah, they gonna find your motherfucking ass. But that's a whole lot of bricks to be losing, you know what I'm saying? But if you'd have made that one trip, you'd have been set to sky free. The commentary on this video was funny, right? Just make it one time, right? It has been has been a lot of us, a lot of our mottos, bro. And, it, and it's a fake, it's a fake saying. That was my last run, my last. You know how people say that. You know what I'm saying? You know how people say that, bro. You know, drug dealing is more addicted than uh, doing drugs. Them people in that car probably got kids. The money been funny and they were like, hey, get this across, you get this. I'm telling you, the kids is the key to everything. People don't play about their kids, bro. You got to be able to feed them and take care of them. One of my biggest regrets, and I believe that I fell for the biggest scam in United States history, the prison system. Being in the United States justice system, they let the people come in and have private prisons. And just being in part of that hustle for them, 
and being a victim of that, I would never get over, bro. I would never get over, bro. I just would never get over that, bro. How did how did I how was I so stupid, bro? You know how many single parents out here? Because the 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 male figures in the family went to prison. This cycle of just going to prison is so damaging to my race, to my people, to this country, this planet, or whatever, man. Going to prison, doing stuff to go to prison, it's the biggest trick in United States history. It's the biggest fucking bamboozle trick pulled on you in the United States history. When I first started driving Uber, right, I got a new job, y'all, so I'm in the, with a transportation company. It's better, better clientele. I'm always picking up people from private jets and shit like that. When I first started driving Uber, man, I got reported by a passenger in my first week. She called and told the people that I didn't talk. Right? Now that I'm driving, it's a better clientele, you know, different people. Man, I, I talk to people now. Yesterday I had a couple, man. I asked them was they content with their lives. And the wife was like, we almost there. So I asked them what they almost mean. So she explained, man, they got they got money. The kids finished college, stuff like that. She said they was lacking spiritually. And I wish this was, I wish that I had like the camera in the car and I wish I could have just shared that whole time with y'all, with bro. Man, having a conscience, right, about what you're doing. You ever, like, walked out the grocery store by mistake to self-check out and didn't pay for something? But you, you, you were like, what's the use? You didn't take it back. You ever done that? You ever stole something from somebody, just stole it? You ever physically put your hands on somebody that didn't deserve it? Anything like that, bro. I'm so in tune with myself right now. I don't care about nothing but living the right way, bro. I made it through, bro. When I tell you, I, almost, I backslid a couple of times and, and God was like, nope. I ain't going to put you back yet, but this ain't going to work. When I tell you, bro, the fact that I get to work and be around different people and ask them questions and stuff like that, I'm about to be the most, I'm about to be a dangerous man. When I mean dangerous in a good way, bro. I'm about to be a dangerous man, bro. Watching those guys in prison deal with the stuff with their kids was brutal. But on a bigger scope, when you look at the whole circle the whole prison community, it was it's the biggest scam in United States history, bro. And once you get in that system, you feel stupid. You feel like a mark. I need everybody, man, to let me know what your biggest regret is in life. And I need to know, do it, do it still bother you? Are you affected by it today? This is from Indicted to Invited. I want to thank everyone again for reaching 3,000 subs. I need y'all to help share my videos and get me out there. I need everybody, man, to comment. I need your biggest regret in life. Man, open up to me, man. Open up to me. I might take this and, and we're going to continue on. I might bring some people on the show from it and all of that. Please tell me what your biggest regret in life is. Do you wish you can turn the, you know, the clock back? You know what I'm saying? Do you wish 
you can turn it forward and get out of the situation that you're in. Do you wish any of this? Right? Please share share this video. Please comment. Please holler back at your boy and let me know exactly what is your biggest regret in life. This is from Indicted to Invited.